Tuesday, March 5th. I'm Janet Atkinson. Thanks for joining us. Well, the Trump administration ushers in an era of trade, topping the headlines. Today, leaders share current progress with farmers and ranchers. RFD TV's Sarah Mock reports from the 11th Annual Virginia Governor's Conference on Ag Trade. Well, trade was the topic of the day here in Richmond, but there's a lot of ancillary issues to trade, including workforce development. Tom Barkin, he's the president of the Richmond Federal Reserve, was here to talk about that. Tom, give us a little perspective on what you told the uh, conference here today. Well, we're very interested in what's happening in the labor market. And one of the uh, obvious gaps between urban and rural is what happens in, in labor markets. So employment to population in rural markets, 10 points lower than it is in urban markets. And we've done a lot of research about what's behind that. Absolutely. Now, part of that is about education, is about investing in education in rural communities. Talk to us about how, what the Fed is kind of looking at in those spaces and, and how does that kind of tie back into the trade question? Well, uh, I think I said in my speech that a huge percentage of the counties that are most affected by trade are actually the rural counties. And so to the extent that anything hits them, right, we need to be thinking about that because we do care very much about labor market outcomes, as I said. Now, uh, if you then get into what's behind that, one of the biggest gaps is percent with a bachelor degree. And if you have a bachelor's degree in today's economy, uh, most of your life outcomes are better, whether that be health or wealth or income. And and uh, you've got a very significant gap in our district at 17 percentage points between those with and without a bachelor's degree. And so that's why we were talking about education and what it takes to get more and more folks in the workplace prepared to work. Absolutely. Now, of course, part of that question is, uh, is what education is available, what jobs are available, and what education you need to fill those jobs. How, what is the Fed doing to kind of determine that and then kind of build, uh, maybe support the building of structures to, to get folks that education to then get them into those jobs? And remember, our mandate's limited. We're working on employment and inflation, so it's not so much of what we're doing directly, but we are doing research to try and inform those who do do things. And in particular, we're intrigued, I'm intrigued, with community colleges and partnerships between community colleges and businesses. And there are several in Virginia, we've also seen some in North Carolina, where businesses who are really tight for workers are investing together with community colleges, which really can train workers, into programs that dedicate those workers into uh, work programs with those companies. The uh, employers get employees, the students get jobs. It's a pretty nice connection. And I wonder if you could, uh, uh, just one last question, look ahead a little bit. What do you expect to see kind of big changes, any big changes in the next, you know, five to 10 years as far as rural labor, rural education, um, rural workforce goes? Well, I don't know if that I'd try to predict it, but I do know that we're trying to support through research the kinds of things that will help folks in rural communities have better outcomes. That's what we're about. Absolutely. Well, some hopeful word there for folks in rural communities all across the country and here in Virginia in this region in particular. We'll have more updates and more reports on trade and the activities here in Richmond throughout the week. But until then, back to you in the studio. Well, thanks once again, Sarah. Now this does mark the 11th Annual Virginia Governor's Conference. Well, President Donald Trump has decided to end a decade-old trade agreement with India and Turkey.